How to estimate the cost of structure elements in construction projects? It is actually a very interesting and good question and in this video I am going to answer it. Let's start. So actually to be able to estimate the cost of structure elements, first of all you need to see how the structure elements are measured. Because usually the structure elements are measured and put in the BOQ in two ways. The first way will be if the BOQ is prepared in accordance with principles of measurement international. And this BOQ it looks like that. As you can see concrete works, you will find the structure elements are split into three things. We have the concrete casting and we have the steel reinforcement and we have the form work. So the BOQ quantities will be measured like that. How much or what is the quantity of the concrete casting measured in cubic meter? And what is the quantity of steel reinforcement measured in kilogram? And what is the quantity of form work measured in a square meter? So when the concrete works or when the structure elements are measured like that, they are measured in accordance with principles of measurement international. And actually when it is measured like that, when the quantities are measured like that, this is the easy way to estimate the cost. Why? Because for the concrete casting, I need the concrete and I need labors to cast the concrete. So I need to supply the concrete and I need manpower or labors to cast it. Then for the steel reinforcement, I need to supply the steel and I need steel fixers to fix the steel. Then for the form work, I need to supply the woods and the scaffolding and I need carpenters and the scaffolders to just install or make the scaffolding and make the form work and shuttering and all of that. So when I am estimating, it will be exactly same. This is my cost estimation template and it's just split into materials, equipment, manpower and subcontractor. So for the concrete casting, all I need to do under the materials, I need to put the rate of supplying the concrete and it is in cubic meter. So I have no problem with that because concrete suppliers, they sell or you can purchase the concrete in cubic meter. So you will not have any issue or any problem to put the rate here in cubic meter for these items. And then again, for the casting, it is easy to calculate one labor, how many cubic meter of concrete he can cast per day and all of that. So just to estimate the concrete casting, I need to supply the concrete and I need a labor to cast the concrete. When it comes to the steel reinforcement, because in this case, the steel is measured in kilograms, so I just need to see how many tons or kilograms of steel I need to supply and what is the rate for the supply of the steel because steel is bought or purchased again in kilograms or in tons. So the quantities are measured like that in kilogram or in ton. So the supply of the steel rate and then you have the steel fixers who will again install the steel and you can get the cost per kilogram. Each steel fixer, how many kilograms of steel he can fix per day and based on that you will get the cost. So you can price for the supply of the steel and the installation or the fixing of the steel and both will be in kilograms. And this is very good actually when you are calculating the cost. It is super easy to estimate when it is like that because supply of the steel in tons or in kilograms and the installation of the steel in kilograms or in tons so you can just put these two numbers and get how much is the cost per kg or per ton as per your BOQ. And for the form work, it is the exact same thing because the form work is measured in square meters. So you have the quantity in square meters. And when you are supplying the wood or when you are, let's say, renting the scaffolding, you will supply the wood and rent the scaffolding in square meters also. So for the materials and plant to be used, you have the rate in a square meter already and for the shuttering work you need carpenters and the scaffolders again it is in a square meter and you can establish this rate very fast so when the boq is measured in accordance with pomi principles of measurement international it is easier actually to estimate but so many people will find this boq or this type of boq a little bit strange because most of the people will not be familiar with this but when the BOQ is prepared like that it is easier to estimate and we explained why. Now we have another type of BOQ where all the cost elements are combined into one item that is measured in cubic meter. So as you can see here you see strip footing and it is measured in cubic meter and that's it. You need to put a rate or you need to estimate the rate. This is a BOQ that is more hard to estimate or more complicated to estimate. 
Why? Because in the first POQ or in the POQ prepared in accordance with POMI, you had the quantities of the concrete casting measured in cubic meter, steel reinforcement measured in kilogram, and formwork measured in square meters. But here, this is not the case. Why? Because you want me to estimate the cost of foundation beams, for example, and you are just giving me the volume of the beam or the volume of the footing this much of cubic meters. So how much kilograms or how many kilograms of steel are inside a strip footing, for example, or inside a foundation beam? We don't know. And you still want to estimate for the cost of the foundation beam in cubic meter. Okay, foundation beam, how many square meters of formwork required for the foundation beam? You don't know. So when the BOQ is measured like that, everything is combined into one item. So I am saying that Plinth walls, for example, I need to estimate for the concrete and the casting of the concrete, steel and fixing of the steel, formwork and installation of the formwork or the shuttering work. So I need a rate or I need a cost rate that will include all of these things together. But the quantities that are in the BOQ are just measured in cubic meters. So I'm seeing here strip footing 83 cubic meters. I can supply the concrete for the 83 cubic meters so I can estimate for the supply and casting of the concrete. But what about the steel? I don't know anything about the steel. What about the formwork? I don't know anything about the formwork. So in a case like that, what should we do? We should calculate either the quantity of steel reinforcement and formwork to allow for that inside our cost rate, or we use what we call the steel and the formwork ratios. And it is basically the same thing. So what is that steel ratio and formwork ratio? The steel ratio is that I'm going to establish somehow how many kilograms of steel are there inside one cubic meter of footing, for example, because I need a rate that will include the concrete and the steel materials, manpower and plant. So in that case, what we need to do, we need the steel quantity or the steel ratio. And you can get the steel ratio if you calculate the quantity of the steel and you divide it by the volume of the concrete, you will get the steel ratio. So what I want to say here that in order to price a BOQ that is measured like that, only one item measured in cubic meter and you want to put a cost rate, in this case, you need the steel ratio and the formwork ratio or you need the steel quantity and the formwork quantity. So actually the steel ratio and the formwork ratio, how we get them, if you calculate, if we go to the other BOQ here, as you can see, for example, for the strip footing, I have this much of formwork measured in square meters. So this is actually the quantity of the formwork measured in square meters. If I divide this quantity by the concrete quantity, of the strip footing, I will get what we call the formwork ratio. And again, this ratio is basically telling us how many square meters of formwork are there in one cubic meter of strip footing. So based on that, you can estimate the cost because when you come to the materials that you need, you know that per cubic meter, you have this much of steel and this much of formwork because in the end, your cost rate is in cubic meter. You need a cost rate that is in cubic meter. So in one cubic meter of any of these items, how many kilograms of steel are there and how many square meters of formwork are there? So you can get these two information by dividing the quantity of the steel divided by the concrete volume. You get the steel ratio and this ratio is telling you how many kilograms of steel is there in one cubic meter of concrete. And when you divide the quantity of formwork by the volume of the concrete, it will tell you how many square meters of formwork are there in one cubic meter of this element that you want to estimate the cost for. So once you have these two numbers, in that case, you can combine the rate. You can establish a rate that includes everything. So in the materials, what materials you need? You need one cubic meter, for example, of concrete. So the quantity is in cubic meter. This will not be an issue. But when you come to how many kilograms of steel you need for this one cubic meter of concrete, then you will use the steel reinforcement ratio because it tells you how many kilograms of steel are there in one cubic meter of 
concrete. And when you come to the formwork, again, you understand or you have calculated already the formwork ratio. So for example, here in the strip footing, I have only half meter of formwork in one cubic meter of a strip footing. So I can get the cost of the steel and I can get the cost of the formwork in cubic meter. So it is not only the concrete. The concrete is measured in cubic meter in either way. Either you go for all the items or an item that is combining everything, all the materials and manpower you need, or the BOQ is prepared in accordance with POMI and everything is split. So when it is combined, you need the steel reinforcement ratio and you need the formwork ratio. And here in this example, just once you have the steel ratio and the formwork ratio, you can establish your cost rate. And quickly, if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmed Adil and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. And by the way, the BOQ that I am using here is the BOQ that I prepared in my construction cost estimation course, the ultimate guide. And in the ultimate guide, I actually have two lectures. One lecture is showing the concrete, how it is estimated in case the quantities are measured in accordance with principles of measurement international. And another lecture that shows how to estimate in the case of all the cost elements are combined into one item. And as I told you, it's simple, but just in the course, I had to fill in these numbers, but the concept is very clear. And by the way, as you can see here, if we take a look at the cost that we are getting, it's about 615,000 here, 615,000. So when I am estimating, either the BOQ is prepared in POMI or it is just the normal or the most common BOQ that we see all the time, the costs should be same. Here you see I'm getting 615,000 as well. So the difference is very less. It's just around 400 or 300 even, but you should get the same cost because in the end it is the same project the same quantity of concrete you need, the same quantity of steel you need, and the same quantity of formwork you need. So when these three things are split in the BOQ, you can price each of them separately. But when they are combined, you will have to establish the steel percentage and the formwork percentage in order to allow for everything in the same cost rate for each of these items. And don't forget to have a look at the construction cost estimation course, the ultimate guide, because tons of information there, you will like it. I'll leave the link in the description. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.